Another school year is just weeks away during this pandemic, and the decision over whether to have children mask up is no less controversial compared to last year. I mean, you want to take the protection that they have away, you're killing our children. That's on you. Oh, come on. A tense moment at the state school board of education meeting Tuesday over mask mandates in schools. I'm killing their, your children. If I, if I, is that what let, you just let, said? Let her finish and then is you that what can you respond. Said? That is what I said. That's what Gosh. came out of my mouth. The board ultimately voted to allow individual districts to decide on whether to enforce wearing masks. Detroit Public Schools Community District has a plan to do just that. Janine Wood's son, Major, is a fourth grader at Adam Young Academy. She says she's on board. I think it's good that they're wearing masks in school, but the main thing is about hygiene with children. Philip Gibbons has an 11th grader at Cass Tech and says he's all for it with the hope students don't rebel. I think it's best to err on the side of caution because the different kinds of variants that come out, this thing seems to be very unpredictable. We have to use every tool we have in our toolbox to protect our children. Henry Ford Health System held a press conference over Zoom in light of the coming school year. Dr. Tisa Johnson Hooper says considering a large number of school children are not eligible to be vaccinated and the Delta variant is more contagious and on the rise, schools, she says, should require masks. And what do you say to parents who may be hesitant about having their child wear a mask uh, in school? I think that's a really good question and, and you know, where I always like to start with any hesitancy, whether we're talking about vaccine or we're talking about mask hesitancy, I really want to understand the reason of their hesitancy. Johnson Hooper says she's had parents suggest it's uncomfortable and some are concerned about their child's social and emotional development since facial expressions are concealed. What I try to do is come is at least demonstrate the risk of not wearing the, vac the, the mask versus the risk of wearing a mask and might we explore way work around. If your child's district does not have a mask or social distancing policy, Dr. Johnson Hooper suggests you have a plan. She suggests that you reach out to your district leadership and make your voice heard. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.